Drowning is one of the leading causes of death among children in the world. Each year, 372,000 children died in the world after drowning, and more than 90% of these deaths occur in low- and middle-income countries. Learning what to do can save lives. The shock of cold water can make swimming difficult and increase the difficulty in getting out of the water. Sometimes the child cannot even scream, so it's important to watch nearby. Be careful about your own safety and look for dangers when rescuing. Shout for help and access a medical facility if you can or ask someone to do so. Gently tap the child's shoulders. Speaking loudly and clearly, ask a question such as, Are you all right? If the child does not respond or not react, Check for breathing. Look, listen, and feel for normal breathing. Listen for breathing sounds. Feel for breaths on your cheek. If you have any doubt whether breathing is normal, take action as though it is not. Caution! Abnormal and irregular breathing movements, called gasps, should not be analyzed as the presence of breathing. Give five initial rescue breaths using a mouth-to-mouth -mouth technique for a child. Blow steadily for one second until you see their chest or abdomen rise. Rescue breaths are very important. Then, give 30 chest compressions without delay. Push down on the center of their chest at a fast and regular rate, 100 to 120 compressions per minute. For a child, chest compressions shall be given with one hand. Depth should be one-third of the depth of the chest or approximately five centimeters or two inches. For an adult, you'll need your two hands. Continue with cycles of 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths until emergency help arrives or the baby or child shows signs of life, such as coughing, opening their eyes, speaking or moving purposefully, and starts to breathe normally. When the breathing has started, put the child on his side. Even if the first aid responder has performed CPR and the baby or child is now responsive and breathing normally, you must continue to close monitor until EMS or a community health worker attends to them, as they may stop breathing again. To practice cardiopulmonary after a drowning accident, remember to 1. Check consciousness. 2. If not breathing, immediately ask a bystander to access help, or if you are alone, access health services by yourself. 3. Open the person's airway and give five initial rescue breaths. 4. If there is no response, give 30 chest compressions without delay. 5. Give two rescue breaths. 6. Continue with cycles of 30 chest compressions and two rescue breaths until emergency help arrives or the person shows signs of life. Encourage your community to engage in water safety programs to build a collective understanding of the dangers and preventative strategies for activities in, on, or near water.